But for now, let's let's begin uh, our new campaign named Housebound Adventuring. Yeah. Oh my god, it does say dwarf. Oh my god, I labelled myself a dwarf. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like a big surprise unveiling or something, and then when you said it, I was like, "Oh no, he no, must I'm have just given an away. idiot." Okay, those, <laughs> yeah. those are the two things I know. <laughs> those are the two things you know. Cormor exists. Also, you are in Cormor. <laughs> Caspian Kinshire. C A S P I E N K I N S H I R E. Does he type it out at the end of the letter? <laughs> <laughs> Alongside him is a giant Great Dane, a dog, a huge dog. Hello, who are you? I'm Randall. You are? Randall, yes. Wow, judging a book by its cover much. She opens up the chest and she says it to you. It's just, it's now empty and broken. Um, Nothing. can I? <laughs> Listen, let's do our job, okay? We're here for a reason. Welcome to the real world, princess. <laughs> <laughs> Skips away. Still with, the three. Together. Still with the three. All of you now need to make a dexterity saving throw. It's a massive wave of just this colossal wave of sewer and sewage liquid pouring down this canal and pushes you and slowly being sucked into it. She shouts, Ah, Cthulhu, save me. Oh, wait, I guidance myself. I guidance myself. You can't say that post roll. 30. Which, remember, I'm not playing a bard. So. Yeah, I'm going to give that to you simply because you're not playing a bard. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Adam has just said, We found a meat jar in a field. It was just a mason jar full of meat in the forest. What the fuck? <laughs> the worst bizarre. geocache ever. <laughs> <laughs> You're poking around a sewer. What's down there? Rats, probably. Rats right. and jelly. Or All right, poos, well. Maybe. What? Poos. Killer poos? I said an ooze or an ooze, maybe? Ooze. All right, I well. I don't know what it was. Don't know how I heard killer poos, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> so that sounds more dangerous. If Name's you, Angie. If, if, uh, hi, Angie. Uh, Angie. Angie Melangie. Angie Melangie, cool. DM writes down Angie Melange. <laughs> Tell her if she sells any phalanges quick. Angie Melange's <laughs> shop of towels and phalanges. <laughs> you can see absolutely all the way through her to the grating in the wall behind her, where you can see that some water is trickling through. On the ground below her, you can see her skeletal remains, or what you assume are her skeletal remains. <laughs> um, hello, and you are Barf? No, I mean, I have a few in my life, but no. It's not his scrotum. Would you like to see the other gentleman that I almost chose to be the monster? Yes. Gentleman, eh? Gentleman. Top hat. Milady. Milady. Actually, yeah. Actually, yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Placing right. the talisman in the hole. Uh, if it does that, I'm. Gonna get... <laughs> uh, so as, you, as you push it in there, uh, it looks like maybe it needs a little bit of a twist. So you give it a bit of a, a bit of a shimmy, and as you do so, it is ejected into your hands, and the wall that it is on. <laughs> I don't like this narrative at all. <laughs> oh, what a cross I made! Can't smell anything. How may I assist you? Oh no. Will be the potion. Okay, what do we have to do? Do you agree? Yep. <laughs> to these terms. Next, 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 next. <laughs> next. <laughs> Is there anything in, that you would like to discuss whilst you're at the table? My impending doom. <laughs> Randall's just like up to his like wrists, are just like buttery, <laughs> greasy. <laughs> Keep note of <laughs> Tom's laugh. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Absolutely fine. Especially Oro, who decides, fuck it, I'm going to go to the forest. I want to go for a bit of a walk. Yeah. See you later, that's, that's fuckos. Nice. I'd rather have the flower. 20 gold pieces. Right. Would rather have the flower. A little bit of this. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like me very much, though, so I think one of you should do it. Oro's looking at Randall. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> you have a gnarly scar. Oh, sweet. Oh, sick, bro. From that time you almost died? <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Oh, we need a new quest, don't we? Are you are you done with the Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're abandoning that one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at your little mouth. Oh, you got your little mouth. We want you to go to buy you sure. Oh, okay, stop. There is a small number of people, but remember, there's quite a high turnover of people that live in yeah. this village. There's a lot of people who come in and take over these houses to rent whilst they're adventuring in the and area. It, like I said, it's an adventuring town. A high portion of the people here don't stay here very long. <laughs> they might move on to adventure elsewhere. Um, happens. <laughs> <laughs> bog man. Everyone's got bog man. Bog man. Bog man. <laughs> Carcass. Good oh. one, Thesaurus. Thesaurus time. <laughs> but was previously looking pretty bad. Oh my god! Just kill me already. Just end <laughs> it. Just end all of it. <laughs> Okie dokie. Ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh hallelujah! <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> There is a god, and it's Neuralee <laughs> giving me inspiration. It's Neuralee. <laughs> it's looking oh, pretty bad. Five. Plus a d4, plus a d4. Plus a d4. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I just shoot one little sacred flame in there. Hopefully it'll blow up, because it'll blow up the barrel, and there'll be fire to ignite it, but it's not. Uh, you see that the wheel on the outside is crippled by its lack of kind of foundation on the main mill building and it breaks off and starts to teeter down Be free. Uh, <laughs> down the river free from your shackles <laughs> <laughs> right after you she says landed. that was much bigger than expected that's hopefully what she said <laughs> uh, and the credits roll <laughs> <laughs> A couple minutes later another person comes out and stands next to the other lady they are all staring at you we need to set them all on fire. By the way, the little mushrooms are moving If when I try to burn them. It's really weird. <laughs> set them all on fire. <laughs> I'm just solving problems. Okay? <laughs> I can't help that the flame is cleansing. <laughs> Please do not set that on fire, Neuralee. Please. No, well, that was what I was going to do. <laughs> what else are we going to do? What do you want to do? I don't want to be in the tavern if you well, do that. Well, no, we shouldn't. But what else do we do? You hang a torch from the ceiling on a rope, and you light the torch on fire, and then you put a candle under the rope. Oh. The candle will burn the rope through and drop it into the thing, and you are a mile away when it happens. Well, we seem to continue to be unaffected by these things, so maybe it'll be okay? There and are some I moments when you DM games where you just have to, you don't know what the fuck to do next. <laughs> What did you want us to do there? That's my question. <laughs> okay. That sounds like a positive to me. So currently, Holly is on the ground, out of breath, but fine. Um, the Shy Falls Tavern is rubble. The mill across the river is rubble. The villagers are still trapped behind a bench. Another job well done. <laughs> Time to hand in this quest, everyone. Backlit to by the fire with your cape billowing in the wind. And you're like, my job here is done. And I'm just going to keep it from spreading. Yep. At the very least. Okay. You, after a short time. You broke all of us. Because you've got dumb bitchitis. Uh, and arriving back, you can see that the bridge has been moved. You cannot... The what smell is still near. Bridge has been moved. Sorry, the bench has been moved at the bridge. Oh, I was going to oh, say... Oh, my words. The bench, it's the bench. bench. It's forever like a foil. <laughs> the bench has been moved. It's got dumb bitchitis. <laughs> 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 Fucking bench. God damn it. It would be bench again, wouldn't it? It is slippery and wet, but also there is, you know, some... Moss, etc. <laughs> Jenny. Doc's making a face. I'm like, no. I'm making a face. <laughs> You're making a face. I'm not making a face. You're I'm making a face. here with a blank expression. Also, there is, you know, some... Yes. Of course, the water walking ring on the corpse in the bottom of a river is cursed. <laughs> Go.
Oh, well, look stop. at this ben look, bench. Ugh, <laughs> bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying not oh, to say God. that all game. It's, it's not so just long. me. It's not just me. <laughs> One of the boards underneath your feet starts to crumble as you take a step on it. You can see that there's already too much focus in your mind on the gap in the bench, not the bench. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> that was the quickest karma I've ever seen. It really is, yeah. <laughs> he was facing away, but his head has turned. So his head is facing you currently, but his spine um, indicates that his body is facing oh, away. His his head is backwards. His head is backwards. Oh, that's much more concerning. That's less compatible. <laughs> um, did did he so, say he found this book here? Well, no, I guess he didn't. Where did you find the book? Here. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Today I learned that there are dangerous books. <laughs> <laughs> Today. Oh. Oh, he cut out. Oh, oh can I? Oh, he's there back. <laughs> so grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> This has been going on for weeks. What is another couple of days? If I don't think I can hold out much longer. There's the time constraint I was looking for. Yeah, like, I can't walk away from this quest half finished. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like we have plenty of time to research this. Few times been around this town, I'm never fucking coming back here again. <laughs> Open up to the kitchen. You see Atticus working away, preparing you for some food. Uh, or preparing some food for you. Preparing us for some food. Uh, <laughs> He, uh... <laughs> Again, fortunately for you, it's How did you find that picture of me, Docs? Still not another erotic at all, otherwise. Oh, I think here this might be what you're looking for, and I take one of the books I mended and kind of like awkwardly <laughs> hand it over. It's on the top shelf. Is that where I can't <laughs> Somebody in chat come up with a name for the erotic novel that Oro just picked up. Oh, Arcana Sutra Arcana is really Sutra. good. Oh, no, that's really good. <laughs> I, the, I can't, I've never been here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was the most guilty way to say it. <laughs> like, I've never been no, here. Oh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> he, he kind of leans to himself. I've, uh, I've, I've put aside a, uh, an area in, in the library that is at an accessible level for you, Madam Oro, oh. uh, that you can fill with your own books. Thank you, Atkins. You're a real one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did Hanu say about her? <laughs> Uh, that she uses mortals as her playthings. <laughs> that was maybe slightly exaggerated. That's what Randall says. Um, okay. Yeah, maybe we should be uh, on, on guard. On guard. It kind of steps forward once more and just says, well, we have things to do, adventures to, to embark upon. We'll buy you around at the tavern next time we see you at the Curl Talon. Yeah, 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 we'll get you drinks, drinks too. Yeah, 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 yeah,